Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to a brand new game. So this game is called Toy Tactics. It only just got released, I believe, on Steam on the Friday just gone, 17th of March. It's available for early access. So if you like what you see or you want to check it out, you can do so by the link I will leave in the description. So this is a sponsored video and we will be probably checking out the first three missions of the campaign. So this is the main menu. We are going to go to New Game. Have quickly checked this out before. It's nothing like Command and Conquer or anything we used to before. Basically, a lot about formations. You can even dry, draw lines in the ground where your formations are going to be. The graphics are a little bit more cartoony than Erebus, like realistic. A land beyond time and space, where fallen warriors from many realms and eras can rise to fight once more and become legends. Among them were the fearless legions of Imperium. These fighters conquered many regions and defeated countless enemies, proving to be exemplary so- Ahem! That's better. As I said, this mighty empire marched over the known world bringing order, aqueducts, grapes, and wild toga parties. Led by the charismatic Imperator and an iron-willed Centuriata, they were unmatched in battle. Until the Draugr arrived. A mighty horde of undead warriors, led by wicked sorcerers with intentions as awful as their smell. They stormed the legions by surprise, forcing them to retreat to their homeland, Orcus. All seemed dark for the Imperium. But then, a mysterious stranger, bearing gifts of ancient wisdom, appeared to share his teachings in the art of war. So I try not to talk over that so you can listen. Basically, there was two guys mentioned there. I think it was Cent Centura something and Imperator. They're like two of the giants that we can actually use throughout this game in the first few missions that we're going to try. They're quite big beasts, like big giants, and really do wreck things. I am he who is called Sun Tzu. General, philosopher, and master strategist. In this journey through the art of war, I will be your teacher and advisor. Shall we begin? Yes, please. First, behold, the brush of high command. A very valuable and ancient tool that, well, it has been stolen. First lesson, the art of war is always based on deception. Okay, so that's some brush. I believe we're going to be drawing formations with that, actually. It's just been stolen. We're going to have to try and get it back. Now go after them. Move your group. Okay, so there's a few ways to move your group. Uh, right now, I think the only way we can do it is by literally left-clicking here. You can use this game on the controller as well, I believe. And we're going to just literally drag it just by left-click and just drag it to there. It's like the easily, easiest and simplest way to move them, I think. So we're just going to try that once more. Move it to the left. Uh, okay, and we will destroy these guys. To destroy him, like, naturally, from playing RTS games, I just want to literally click, select my unit, drag a box, but you can't do that, and then click on it. But you, yeah, you literally can't do that. So what, what you have to do is get used to um, dragging your little red thing underneath there and dragging it into the enemy, and they will automatically battle. Okay, well done. Move forward. There's going to be a trap here, though. These undead guys are just literally popping up <laughs> out of the soil. The the sword there, I think, is like their class or something like that. Maybe their infantry. And the fact that this is five there means there's five of them left. So we've been wiped out there. So we need heavy weaponry. This is where the Imperator, who actually just got mentioned in the intro, I believe that's the same guy, uh, will lead our enemies. Now you've got this big beast to literally just click him in there and he should wipe them all out. If you drag him through like a fence as well, he seems to just whack the fence. The game is marked on Steam as like physics, strategy, RTS, third person sandbox mode. You can definitely tell with the physics. There's a lot going on with the physics. Like literally a fence panel has just landed over there. So, if I drag him again. Okay. So, we've got to chase this guy because he stole our brush. Yeah, 
Yeah, he'll randomly just attack things on the way. Uh, so we got to chase this guy with a brush. But we have fallen, actually. Okay, we need to get it back. Notice you've got the controls up here. We'll be using them a little bit later on. So he's gone on top of this tower with this brush now. Uh, you can move using W, A, S, and D if you're on the keyboard. So we're literally just going to keep dragging the little leaf thing or whatever shape that is. Is it a crown or something? I'm not sure what it is. It's a crown or something. I don't know. But he's quite a beast. But one thing I'm not 100% about at the, this point in time is does he have HP? I think he's unkillable at this point in the game. Later on, the big giants do have like a HP bar above him. And I think he can maybe die. But if he lose, if he dies, there's some sheep. Think the sheep are good guys though. So yeah, you can tell by the graphics this is not like meant to be the most realistic RTS game. <laughs> Definitely it's not a realism type thing. But it's more about uh Yeah, formations, physics, and uh, the, the way they describe it is like a different approach to RTS games. Like I've never played an RTS game of this style before, I don't think. Uh, later on, we can cast spells, and we get these things called blessings as well, which can power up our guys. Like, enhance their abilities. But later on, we, we can do spells like kind of god mode, like a bit like a game called Black and White back in the day. It's kind of similar to that, where you're like... Uh, actually, in Black and White, could you cast spells? I can't remember, but we can like make fire and rain arrows and stuff like that. Okay, so we want to hold left mouse button and right mouse button here, and we'll move both together. You can use uh, Z and C as well. Feels a bit clunky using Z and C. But you can use Z and C to rotate it like that. Yeah, I kind of natural, naturally want to be able to click on the ground and like spin the mouse around like that in a circle for them to rotate. But yeah, Z and C is what you need to do. Okay, so yeah, here's where the pause comes in. So you press pause and we can rearrange them. Uh, let's put them in there him in there as well and then press play so if there's ever like an ambush or anything you can press pause yeah but i guess you can speed it up as well wow did not even know that we just saved some time wiping out this whole battle now if we go here we're gonna get something is it a blessing in here get something like a dagger or something like that okay so fiery pugio or pugio i've not heard of that p word before but I'm guessing it's like some ancient <laughs> name for a dagger or something. Yeah, they will randomly like attack the uh, attack the fences and stuff. It's like similar kind of sounds like out of Fall Guys actually, of the uh, the guys jumping around and stuff. I'm trying to use Z and C here. Is that working? Yeah, it's working. Right, okay, let's attack. Okay, so we we probably use the pause fe feature here. Uh, they can go over there. Where's the beast? Oh, there he is. Put him there. And let's fast forward, actually. Okay. So I suppose you could probably complete the game quite quick, as long as you know what you're doing. I think we have to destroy this tower now, so... We'll destroy that next. Because the guy on top of there has actually got our brush. You can zoom right in, by the way. I'm zooming by pressing the middle mouse button. And you can... Sorry, by scrolling the middle mouse button. And you can hold middle mouse button and move it around. The mouse around. And it'll rotate the camera. Okay, so there is a victory. Quite a simple first mission, but as you would expect, to be honest... Uh, with the first mission of any game, so yeah. Your king has defeated many warriors. Okay, so these have been your first steps. Uh, we'll move to... This is like kind of like a 3D world. I guess that moves you on to the next mission. If you press on this, so that tells you about infantry. Not impressing on their own, but together combined, they're pretty good. Oh, you can change your color as well. Do we want to be that color? 
Oh, we changed color. I never knew you could do that, actually. Uh, the spells in there, I think. This is blessings. So we can actually... Can we equip that now? Oh, yeah, we can equip that. Basically, that one gives you a small chance to put your enemy on fire. So we all always like that. Otherwise, you can have the shield give you a higher chance of deflecting arrows. That actually might be pretty good to keep that, you know. Uh, let's put that for now, but I think we'll put the shield back for the third mission, if, if we do get to the third mission. Okay, so we're going across the treacherous gorge. Maybe we can rotate a formation by pressing Z and C whilst dragging. Okay. Always fight the enemy on the terrain of your choice. Trust your legioners, send them into glory. Okay, yeah, we changed color now. That's pretty cool. Remember, we've got this brush back now, so... So we click this, enter drawing mode, draw a line with the left click, and then right click. So obviously, from my experience playing RTS, you want to have the biggest concave possible. So we'll do something like that. But then... So I guess if they meet the enemy on the way, they're trying to... They're trying to get to that place, but then... So can we pause there, click this, and just make like a circle or something? And then play. So the pause... It's like time's on your side, isn't it? Basically. So no matter how bad things are going, you can always pause. You can also press this camera button. So that's like free camera. But if you press on that now, it'll follow your army pretty much all the way. I like it off, to be honest. So I like to be able to, just personal preference, like to, uh, yeah, be where I want to be. Okay, let's keep going forward. Okay, we're going to learn something new here. Okay, so two sheep are in danger. And to draw more by pressing this. And divide your forces by drawing two separate formations. So we do like that. And that. Try and save the sheep. And now. Do not let them sh uh, slay those defenseless beings. So I'm going to go and save the sheep. So I just drew two separate lines. Just like you would on Microsoft Paint or anything like that. And then I right clicked. To allow that to happen. So now I believe we can... Oh no, we can drag them on top of each other now. That's what we can do. It does make a bit of a weird shape if you do that, though. Yeah, a bit of a... Whoa, 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 whoa. So I guess we need to do that again now, actually. Yeah, this is where this shield would have come in handy, actually. But we are going to light them on fire, I guess. This is what happens if you zoom in a lot. So up close, obviously we've got the advantage against the archers. But it's like we've got two armies now, isn't it? Let's go here. So we're going to get reinforcements if we go here, actually. It's like capturing the area as that fills up. And then we should get all of these guys. Um, so if I click all of them now and then draw... Draw one big formation. I put them all together. To confirm your order. Okay, do... Okay, so they're the archers. Okay. When I did this, when I did this before, I literally nearly died. So this time I'm going to tr focus on it better. I'm going to... You're going to target the archers first, I think. Um, because those lot can't fire at you. If you, if you go and fight, fire, fight over there, then the archers are still killing you, so. Yeah, I'm going to pause. <laughs> Don't know if that's going to work or not. Let's see. Yeah, I literally want to kill them archers first. Yeah, I think I'm handling this better than before. 
Because before I started fighting all the infantry first. So you can see we've only got 28 guys left. We definitely need to kill uh, that archer there. Um, yeah. Okay, 24 guys. I mean, literally when I did this last time, the first time, I literally got down to my last guy and nearly failed the mission. Oh, there's some guys up there. Is that like a little secret? Look at all this. Oh, maybe we could have actually. Ah, there's a secret up there. Never realized that. Uh, okay. So let's go there. Fast forward. Okay, press play. I'm not sure what's going on with that bridge now. How do I... Wait, is that a weight thing? Oh my god, that's a weight thing. Okay, that's pretty interesting. You know, one thing that's in my mind here is the developers of this game will definitely be watching. And... Like, it... it It'd be cool for the developers to be to be watching this and, and seeing um, seeing their game to be played and finding the secrets and stuff like this. Like, wouldn't you be annoyed if you made the secret and it just got completely overlooked? Um, slay every enemy infantry. Okay. So, yeah, the fact that we have kind of solved it probably makes the developers a little bit happy there that we've actually found that little secret. And I'm going to be happy, actually, when I find that little chest and I uh, get a reward that I otherwise wouldn't have had. Because they've put it on this little mountain. Yeah, like, imagine if you'd worked on a project for ages or a game or a, a map on, a, on another game or whatever you'd been working on. And seeing people play it for the first time and work it out. I think it'd be pretty cool and rewarding. Right, let's go fast forward. Uh, let's also just click on all our guys and just go in this now. Okay, so you literally just jump off, okay. Okay, that's it. Level two completed, I believe, or mission two. Okay, near the infantry is the backbone of his army, and a well-trained one is a key to victory in almost every campaign. Right, we'll jump into the third mission, which is where I'm going to wrap this up. At the end of this, you've harvested enough resources to unlock powerful spells. Okay, so I quickly had a look at this before. Um, select the arrows. Acquire. You can equip four spells in battle. Okay, so those arrows, you can literally drag a line like, like a god. And start burning people and killing people. Very ethical. Uh, a stake of fire that serves as a dramatic declaration of war. And that is a fire that you draw in the... In the What's this? Barbarian proof. Defend the corners. Okay, that's cool. Reinforcements. They'll appear in the blink of an eye. Whoa, I like the sound of that. Can I do anything else? Explosive atmosphere. When you fill it with fire, the damage is dire. Okay, I like that as well. Uh, well, definitely makes you a lot more powerful because you could literally have one guy left, but if you've got spells, you could uh, still win the game. Right, so that was spells. Yeah, that was spells. What's that? That's blessings. Uh, I think I'm going to put that back, you know. Oh, wait. Did I find that as well? Enemies dealing or receiving damage from infantry are weaker against projectiles. Enemies dealing or receiving damage are weaker against projectiles. Hmm. I'm going to put that back for now just because I think arrows do a lot of damage sometimes to us. Okay, lead the vanguard of Imperium forces and destroy the watchtowers. So there's like three or four watchtowers here. We need to destroy. No, oh, four towers would give give the number away. Three and a half. Be as swift as an arrow on the wind.
Okay, time to do some magic for the first time. Remember that spells need to recharge with the souls units. Okay, so you need to defeat guys to recharge him. Careful, your spells can damage your own units too. Okay, rain of fire. So you literally just click it and left click really easy. Okay, we need to get this guy as well. Is he still alive? He's quite a beast compared to what we've been fighting before. Try drawing it against the giant. See, he's quite resilient, actually. Finally dead. It'll take you a long time to master the art of war. Right, okay, so we've got a big beast. He is Centuri Centuriata. Uh, Reign of Fire. So they're killing our sheep again. Oh, no, wait. Were they our guys? Oh, no, they're red. Because <laughs> we were red before. That's what confused me. Right, let's get our beast and just click him like straight over there to start smashing that tower. So they're all recharging, so it always is a benefit, I think, to have archers are more powerful when they're on top of a tower. Like a lot of games, to be honest. Yeah, that's why I thought about getting shields. These guys in the towers take a lot of damage from that. Uh, okay, we're capturing that area. Okay, so this and this. But the thing is, if they keep moving, do you need to keep still dragging that? Probably do, actually. Actually, you know what? Let's wait till they come back. Because those archers there, we want to stay away from those, I think. Wow. <laughs> Was that our beast that threw that? Is he literally just throwing things? So the only way to kill them up there, I think, is to use a spell. Oh, I've got to use this, please. This is going to be good. Oh, wow. It's literally bombs. Whoa, baby. Okay, so we'll kick them off there by using the spell. Okay, you gotta kill this one guy. He's not got a chance, really, has he? Even to the spear. Okay, have we destroyed two towers? Yeah, two towers are free already. Keep on the lookout for... Secrets, though, because... Yeah, you can zoom out quite far, actually, like that. Yes. So, yeah, I'm sure you've never seen a game quite like this before. It's definitely a different spin on RTS. Yes. No base building, which, uh, you know, I do like. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe later on we can build a base. I'm just kind of assuming, to be honest. I think it's more about focus on the formations and the battles. I like the fact that we can just get reinforcements at any time. That's amazing. I won't use it yet. Whoa, there's going to be a secret. Yeah, I knew it, man. Thing is, how do we get over there, though? Yes, sir. Oh, man, how do I get across that bridge? Unless there's, like, some pressure plate. I really do want to get across that bridge. Oh, wait. We spawned some guys here, but... I can't select them. <laughs> what? A little bit weird. Yeah, there's gotta be something. Oh wait, what the? Am my guy's gonna die in the water here? 
Oh, they've died. Right, okay, I think it's time to fight now. Because otherwise we're going to die. Maybe that bridge opens later on or something. Yeah, I think we need to rush. Oh man, look at this. We're taking loads of damage here. Are we actually dying? Because they're all stuck in the water here. Oh, he's stud on the pressure plate. Oh my god. Centuriata might die here. Is he taking damage? I think he is. These dudes need to stop this, man. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage. So he needs to come back. <laughs> uh, I think they are stuck <laughs> under the bridge, man. Um. Oh, wait. Some of them are actually through. Just don't know how to get him off the... Uh... Maybe I have to do a spell on him, to be honest. Oh, man. The Centurion is nearly dead. Okay, they are slowly returning. I don't think they're supposed to be able to go in the water or near that bridge. But I think if we just completely pull back. Don't think we're taking that much damage. But yeah, he... He's very close to death and I, I, I guess we might fail the mission if he dies. But he's stood on the pressure plate. Can I fast forward it or something? See if they come back any sooner. Okay. Should be able to win it maybe without Century Hunter. But I just don't want him to die and fail the mission. That'll annoy me. Yeah, I'm sure someone's screaming at the screen. To say how we uh, get this guy. Wow. Wait, so now he's off it, we can just go in. Simple as that, yeah? Well, he's not even off it now, but he was before. Well, let's go and attack him. Okay, we did that. I reckon we need the big guy. Oh, no, wait. Uh, Blessing unlocked the cilia. Okay. Okay, if we fast forward now. Okay, so we had a little bump in the road there with a the guy stuck in the water and stuff, but... I suppose that's why it's early access. I'm sure that will be fixed. There's some arrows stuck in the sky there as well. You see that? But yeah, only minor. And uh, it was actually uh, pretty entertaining, to be honest. We'll wrap it up there. Let me know if you want to see any more of this. Maybe we'll play a couple more missions, something like that. But uh, remember, you can get this on uh, Steam Early Access. I think there's an offer on until like the 24th of March, something like that. At least for me in the UK, anyway. So yeah, be sure to check it out. Let me know your comments down below. And I'll see you in the next one. GG.